And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. You know, some areas saw quite a bit of sunshine today, especially down to the south. Tomorrow, everyone should see a fair amount of sunshine, but we will see cooler temperatures. Highs will be in the 50s. We'll start off in the upper 30s and temperatures warming up in the afternoon, right around 53 degrees in Green Bay. And then temperatures will tumble quickly tomorrow evening with mainly clear skies. And we're going to head for the lower 30s to start off your Tuesday. Here's a look at current conditions in Green Bay. It's 48 degrees right now. North northwest winds at 10 miles per hour. A cold front slid through, touched off a few showers and sprinkles across the area. We saw a few sprinkles here in the Green Bay area, but the winds picked up behind that cold front, but now are starting to diminish at least a little bit. North winds at six miles per hour in Appleton. It's 45 degrees right now. We have mostly cloudy skies, dry conditions. We should see these clouds clear out by later in the night, especially as we move into tomorrow morning. High pressure will settle in for a short amount of time, but there's a system that we're going to watch to bring us some rain coming up on Wednesday, and that's going to be widespread and looks like a soaking rain for the area as well. Temperatures around the viewing area this evening. It's 48 in Sturgeon Bay, Shino at 47, 46 in Clintonville, 47 in Wapaka, 47 in Oshkosh, and 45 degrees in Fond du Lac. Wind speeds, again, a little bit breezy in a few spots, especially up towards Door County, but these winds will diminish as we go through the overnight hours. A broader view shows that system that brought us uh, the showers has moved off to the east. We have a bit of a break in the action. And then to the west, that is what we're going to keep an eye on for Wednesday. It's going to pick up a decent amount of moisture and will bring us some rain throughout the day on Wednesday. Looks like it'll start off pretty quick Wednesday morning, just in time for your morning commute. Temperatures across the upper Midwest. We have some cooler air moving in behind that cold front. 31 degrees right now in International Falls. And overall, it's going to be a very cool week. Chilly even on Wednesday because of the rain and also some very windy weather as well. And the cloud cover, temperatures will only be in the 40s through the day. So yeah, it's going to be a cold, raw October day. We see the rain kind of let up as we head into Thursday morning and then a bit of a dry stretch. We'll have to watch this system on Saturday. Looks like late Friday into Saturday, but still tracking the timing of that next system. But uh, this next uh, weather event on Wednesday, it looks to be... Pretty likely as far as rainfall goes. Could pick up some pretty impressive amounts, especially south of Green Bay. In the purple there, that's over an inch and a half. So we'll kind of have to see how it all plays out. But most of the area should see at least some beneficial rainfall. Skycast as we head through the overnight, clearing out into early tomorrow. We'll see sunshine through your Monday, cooler weather. And then as we head on into Tuesday, clouds will increase as we go throughout the day. And that rain moves on in for your Wednesday. Tonight down to 37. Clearing late, then for tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, 53 degrees for your Monday, your extended forecast. Rain on Wednesday, some of it heavy at times, windy as well. And then we should see the rain wrap up as we head into early on Thursday. Temperatures make a little bit of a rebound by late in the week as well. So summer is officially out of here, hey? Yeah, you know, we saw some 70s last week. I think that's probably pretty much done. All right, well, fall's still nice. I enjoy it. Yeah, it's, um, it could be, could be, there's no snow. There you go. There's that. <laughs> Thanks, yep. Matt. We'll still head on NBC 26 live.